What is going on guys? My name is Alex. Welcome back to a brand new video. And I know today's video should be the setup tour, but before this tutorial starts of Vegas Pro 15, I want to give you give you guys a quick update because as you can see right now, the shelf of IKEA is just still in its boxes and my setup is not completely done. That monitor still needs to be connected and I have to do a lot of cable management. So basically, so I kind of wanted to wait with the setup tour until everything is uh, set up, you know, the shelf is set up and the lights are on. So in today's video, I'm not gonna do a setup tour, but I'm gonna also show you guys how to create a Hollywood effect on your videos. And I will also give a big shout out to Production Create for sponsoring this video because I've been working really closely with Production Create the last couple of weeks. And they've been so fortunate and so generous enough that they will sponsor today's video. So I'm gonna use their website obviously to get some awesome essentials for the video. So guys, I know the lighting really sucks because of that bright window. So I'm gonna cover that up a bit. Okay, I hope that helps a little bit. So, like I've mentioned guys, this video is sponsored by Production Create. A huge shout out to them. And I would say, let's jump into Vegas. Okay guys, so for this tutorial, we're gonna do it a little bit different because usually the camera would be right there, you know, facing front in front of me, and then I would have my green screen behind me. But as you guys saw, the, the shelf is not even fully set up, you know, it's not even decorated with lighting. So we're gonna do it this way for this video. And as you guys can see right now, we are on Vegas. We're gonna switch uh, back and forth between this shot and that shot. So it's gonna be really awesome. Make sure to hit that like button down below. I would say let's get started. So as you can see right now, this is Vegas 15. And in order to start making your videos uh, look like a Hollywood film, we're gonna apply some effects on it. So, and you're probably thinking, Alex, you've done this many times in the past, the same video over and over and over again. But I want to mention that I've never done this in Vegas Pro 15, and I have also never used like you know footage from Production Crate in order to make it look like a Hollywood film. You guys know how it rolls, so we're gonna do that today. So what we're gonna do first is we're gonna go over to productioncrate.com, which is right here. And we basically want to download some effects that we find interesting. So if you go ahead and look over, uh, we have many different lens flares. And a lens flare is basically, um, let's say that you are filming the light of your ceiling and you're just filming it on, right on the edge, you will get some uh, color schemes and just lens flares into your actual lens. And that is called a lens flare, very obvious. So right here on the website, we have many different ones. And I think those, will, those ones looks pretty cool. And I think this one caught my eye pretty, pretty quick. So we're gonna go ahead and click on it. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and download the MOV. And now as you can see at the bottom is downloading. So we're gonna go ahead and go to our Vegas project and we're gonna drag in that clip that we just downloaded from production crate and while the file is downloading guys i want to ask you guys to make sure to also subscribe to production crates youtube channel because when you are sending me a screenshot on twitter that you subscribe to them i will follow you back on twitter and that's basically how awesome it is make sure to show production crate some love by checking out their channel and subscribing and turn on the bell for notifications so the file is almost finished downloading so once it's completed we're going to go ahead and drag that guy into vegas pro Okay guys, so now that the lens flare is in our project, as you guys can see, this one, uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna just put this lens flare aside for a second, and we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna uh, adjust this clip a little bit. So my, in my eye, this clip looks a little bit fady and a little bit gray, so we're gonna go ahead and go to the uh, video effects tab, and we're gonna scroll all the way down until we see brightness and contrast. We're gonna click on it, we're gonna put the default one on top of the palm trees clip, and what we're gonna do then, is we're gonna bring up the contrast quite a bit. So we're gonna go do it like that. So as you can see, this looks freaking amazing. And if I uncheck it and recheck it, this is basically the difference. You guys are probably seeing the difference and that is just huge. And we're gonna do it from there. So the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna add in those cinematic 
black bars because those are used in movies and all kinds of videos. So what we're gonna do in order to do that is we're not gonna download them from Google, the cinematic bars. We're gonna go to the uh, event pan crop icon right here and then in this box and we're gonna make sure that only the size about center is checked. So once we do that, as you can see, we can just create those bars and that is basically how to create this awesome cinematic look. And if you guys say, Alex, the tree is falling out of the frame, how can I do that? You can just move this guy up real quick and then you can just go ahead and see uh, more and more of the frames. So that's basically how to create this awesome Hollywood effect and that's how you do it. So now the overlay of the uh, of the production create website is gonna come in. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna create a new video track and we're gonna put that guy over it. And now you're all wondering, Alex, I can't see anything through the lens flare. This is basically how it looks. But in order to see through it and to make it kind of an overlay, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put the uh, compositing mode for example, to screen. So if you go ahead and play and play it back, this is basically what it looks like. So as you can see, that looks freaking impressive. Let's say that you want to have lens flare to overlay on the black bars. You just want to go ahead and do the same. Basically, you just want to go ahead and also drag these uh, right there. So that is basically how to do it and you want to make sure that those are just under the black bars and this is basically how it looks like and that is how you create an awesome hollywood effect for your videos it is just freaking amazing what you can also do is you can go to the video effects tab and you can pick color corrector and you can drag in the default one on top of the palm tree clip and what you can do is you can choose many different presets and as you can see right now that looks awesome and so impressive and that is basically how to do it guys. This is how you create an awesome cinematic uh, Hollywood effect onto your video. So I wanna thank you guys for watching. Thank you for the continuous support. I'll catch you guys tomorrow in a brand new uh, video. And I want to mention guys, I know that my uploads schedule has been really inconsistent since uh, Monday because believe it or not, um, last weekend I was moving houses obviously with my girlfriend and basically we had a lot of work to do, we had a lot of furniture to move, so that's why my upload schedule has been really inconsistent because I finally had my setup done yesterday so I can finally create videos again. But from next week on, from Monday on, I will upload five videos, maybe even six videos a week, and we're gonna hit it off from there. So that's gonna be it, guys. Make sure to follow me on Twitter and Instagram and Facebook and everything like that. Also for production crate, that's the same. Like I mentioned, make sure to go ahead and actually follow them, and I will follow you back if you will send me a screenshot. So that's gonna be it. That's all I have for you guys today, and I will see you guys, obviously, in the next video.